What's up guys? I'm really happy that you decided to enroll to the petrochemical course in which we're going to do an overview of the petrochemical industry. We're going to start analyzing the industry per se. First, typical feedstock used in the petrochemical industry, for instance, naphtha from crude oil, natural gas, and even ethane. Then we continue our analysis on the petrochemical processes that are found, for instance, in the USA, Europe markets, Japan, and also Asia and Latin America. Further, we're going to learn about the petrochemicals, how they are produced, in which conditions, typical unit operations, common byproducts, intermediates, raw materials, and of course, how to get the final purity, product specification and composition. I structured the course in such a way that we are going to favor I structured the courses I structured the course in such a way that it facilitates the learning because I structured it first I structured the course in such a way that it facilitates learning. For instance, we start with the petrochemical overview, as stated before, and then we go directly to the processes. We're going to analyze the steam cracking of naphtha. Why do we use naphtha? Why is it so convenient? What are the common properties of the several naphtas available according to the markets and location? Then we continue with the FCC, which is nothing more than the fluid catalytic cracking of more crude oils. Then we try to recover, understand why do we need to recover the C3, C4 and C5 cuts from that. And then we continue with each specific petrochemical. For instance, we continue analyzing C1 cut, C2 cut, C3 cut, 4, 5, and aromatics. For example, if you want to learn how to produce chlorobenzene, we learn how to produce benzene. Benzene comes from the distillation of crude oil, actually from the BTX separation. If you are willing to learn about, let's say, phenol, we try to understand how we use phenol. Are we using benzene as a raw material? Are there other alternatives and so on. For ethanol, we're going to try to use first the oxidation methods and so on. Propylene oxide, we start with ethylene. Then with the oxidation, we produce ethylene oxide. We're going to see plenty of chemical processes in this course. So I hope you are willing to learn about the processes, about the different chemical roads available in petrochemical processes. And once again, I want to congratulate you that you took the time and the decision to learn more on this beautiful industry. So, I'll see you in the next videos.